Hello again, and welcome back to The Broken Past. We're doing something a little bit different today. Today, we have a 55-inch Samsung TV that has a partially burned out backlight. As you can see by the video, there is a dim spot on the right half of the screen. It's not very apparent in the video, and it does seem that it occasionally flickers on and off. So, here's a picture of it when the entire segment of LEDs is turned off to show a better image of the problem. We're going to go ahead and replace both LED strips in this TV to fully restore functionality. The model number for this TV specifically is UN55NU6900. However, these steps can be followed for most other models of backlit TVs as well. Just make sure you check if your TV has any additional screws, clips, etc. throughout the steps of the process. The first step we need to do is to remove the back cover off of the TV. We start by placing a soft blanket down on a hard surface. This makes it so that we don't scratch the front of the panel itself or risk cracking the panel due to any debris or materials underneath of the TV. For our TV, there are no screws holding the back cover in place. Instead, there are just clips recessed a bit inside that clip onto a metal guide wire under the panel itself. For this type of TV, we can remove them with a long, stiff spudger tool that can reach the clips inside. For other TVs, a basic pry tool is all that's needed to remove the clips from the back of the TV itself. After removing the back panel, we have a series of cables and connectors we need to remove. Again, your TV requirements may differ. Unplug the speakers from the motherboard and carefully remove them from their mounting positions. remove the two brackets on the bottom edge of the TV. Remove the cable connecting to the infrared receiver and power button as well. we need to remove the ribbon cables connected to the buffer board. Remove these ribbon cables by carefully lifting up on the latch securing the ribbon cable to the board. Slide the ribbon cables out and secure them out of the way. Next, we need to remove the buffer board cover. The buffer board is what connects directly to the LCD panel and drives the image on the display. The buffer board cover protects these boards. Carefully remove the board cover by removing the tabs from the surrounding clips and slide it off of the TV. Remove the tape holding the buffer board in place as well and put it off to the side for later use. We now need to flip the TV onto its back so we can work on removing the bezel from the TV. There are a number of different ways to do this. The way that I found that works best for me is to take a few pieces of 2x4 or 2x2 boards and position them beside where the TV power and logic boards are. Then when you flip the TV over, carefully rest the metal backing of the TV on these boards. This will protect the electronics of the TV by elevating it off of the ground. Now we can remove the bezel from the TV itself. Beginning at one corner, slowly lift up on the bezel, making sure to detach it from any connecting clips. Carefully work your way around the bezel, removing the bezel as you go. Eventually you'll free the entire bezel. Remove it and set it off to the side for later. 
Carefully remove the buffer board from their mounts under the TV. Rotate the boards to the top and tape them to the LCD panel itself with masking tape. Be careful not to crimp or pinch these cables as they cannot be replaced. Remove the LCD panel and place it somewhere safe for later. I use a set of industrial suction cups to get a good grip on the center of the panel. These help to make sure you don't flex and crack the panel while trying to remove it from the TV frame. They aren't required, but they do help significantly. We now have multiple layers of diffusion sheets that are used to diffuse the light from the panel itself. We want to keep these in the order that they're installed on the TV. If you'd like, you can tape them with masking tape to keep them together or you can simply remove them by hand and keep them together that way. Place them with your LCD panel for safekeeping. Next, we must remove a subframe which covers a few remaining sheets. This subframe is probably the hardest to remove overall. What I found works best is to start on one corner and grab the edge of one of the subframe rails. Slowly rotate it up and away from the TV. This will disconnect the metal tabs holding it into place and help it to rotate off of the frame. Be careful here though, as the plastic is fragile. If you do break a tab or two, it's not a huge problem since the rest of the frame will pressure fit it into place. Lastly, we have another diffusion panel along with the reflector sheet. Like before, remove these, keeping track of their orientation and layout, and place them with the other sheets. We now have access to our LED strips. In our case, the TV is edge lit, which means there's a single set of LED strips on one side that light across the entire panel. Other TVs may have a full array of backlights behind the panel. Those have similar removal and installation instructions, but will include strips throughout the entire back of the panel itself. Carefully disconnect the connectors from the LED strips themselves. Be careful. Even though there's no power connected to the board, depending on the configuration of your TV, there may still be stored power and capacitors on the main board that are still energized. In my case, there was still a 340 volt charge on the connectors feeding these LED strips. It gave me a good zap. <laughs> Do you see it spark? <laughs> I saw the whole thing light up. Be careful, use a multimeter, or even ensure that the power board is fully disconnected from the LED connectors before working with these LED strips. High voltage is no joke. After disconnecting the connectors from the LED strips, carefully work your way across the strip, removing it from the frame of the TV itself. These strips will not be reused, so don't be afraid to bend and wrap them to get them fully removed. Ensure that any remaining adhesive is completely removed as well, so that the new strips will be able to be installed correctly. To install the new strips, ensure they're placed in the proper position. Remove the adhesive protector on the back of the strip and insert into position. Make sure if the LED strips are edge lit that the bottom of the strip is pushed firmly into the corner of the TV frame itself. If the strip isn't fully seated, you may see hot spots when it's all put back together. The strip must be installed completely perpendicular to the frame of the TV so that the light properly diffuses across the entire panel. Once the strips are installed, push to secure them into place. Now, we just reverse the steps. Begin by reattaching the connectors to the LED strips. Install the reflector sheet and diffusion panel. Install the subframe, ensuring that it's fully in place and all connector tabs are securely mounted. Reinstall the additional diffusion sheets. Carefully set the LCD panel back into position. Remove the tape holding the buffer boards in place. Reinstall the bezel surrounding the panel. Again, starting in one corner, 
carefully work your way around, securing it into place. Flip the TV back over, being mindful of the buffer boards as you do so. Reinstall the buffer boards into position. Reinstall the buffer board cover. Reconnect the ribbon cables to the buffer boards and the cable to the power and infrared sensor. Reattach the speakers into their positions and connect them to the motherboard. Reinstall the brackets on the sides. Reinstall the back cover, pressing down to ensure the clips are fully seated and using any screws if necessary to fully install. And that's it. After all that work, it's time to test. If you've done everything correctly, you should now be able to enjoy your newly repaired TV. Now with that, you can enjoy your TV all over again and you can be proud that you saved a TV from an unnecessary trip to the landfill. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer if I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> Are you helping? You help. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Yeah, say hi to the camera. <laughs>